Hello, it's Tamara Zoner here. It's Saturday. It's time for some self-love. I have a task for you. This card I pulled today from the We're Not Really Strangers self-love edition says, or asks, do I have a clear picture of who I want to be this time next year? What's one small step I can take towards becoming that person? Good question, hey? Let's see it up here. There you go. You can read it for yourself. Do I have a clear picture? Do you? Do you have a clear picture? Clarity is power. The power to create anything we want in our lives. Another fabulous quote from one of my mentors, Janet Bray Atwood, is you can have whatever you want in life and only to the extent that you are clear. Do you have a clear picture of who you want to be this time next year? Now, caveat. You do not need to be better than you are. You're already perfectly imperfect. So you don't have to change to be a better version of yourself. What I invite you to do is set the intention. We're talking about that a lot this last week. Set the intention to be more of who you truly are this time next year. Why not spend 2022 becoming the most authentic version of yourself? Deprogramming and removing the clutter and the dust that is preventing you from shining as you. You are here on this earth because some higher force of nature decided that you are the perfect you and the world needs you. So it's not about bettering ourselves. You don't have to be better, get better, change who you are. You have to be more of who you are. Here, deep down inside, this beautiful shiny soul that's been covered up by the dust of the world and other people's judgments and other people's voices. Here, you are pure love. The essence of you is a shiny diamond. So brightly shining that other people have to turn away because they themselves aren't letting themselves shine. When other people try to dim your light, it's because they can't even look at their own. So don't worry about being better or changing who you are. Don't worry about anything. Set an intention to be more of who you are. So who do you want to be? How much more of you do you want to be this time next year? And what will make you feel more like yourself, capital S, on self? A long time ago, I didn't feel like me. And I was pretty darn miserable. I was unhappy. I was angry. I felt trapped. I felt stuck until I realized over time and with some intervention <laughs> that I was only stuck here. But I had every opportunity outside of me to decide how I wanted to feel. What do you want your life to look like, feel like? What do you wanna be doing? What do you wanna have in your experience? This is where clarity begins. You ask yourself this question that I love so much from the passion test. When my life is ideal, I am what? What are you doing? 
What are you feeling? What does the world around you look like? What are you experiencing? Play with that a little and I'll link the meditation that I do for that particular exercise. And create that clear picture of the experience that you want to be having a year from now. And then, what's one small step I can take towards becoming that person? What's one small step that you can take today and each day toward becoming that person, that version of you? Because again, we don't decide today that we're going to be this a year from now and not do anything. And then you just sit back and say, well, cool. That's what it'll be in a year. I don't have to do anything. Right? That's where the, the movie The Secret went wrong. It was the Law of Attraction 101. And they said, just set your intention and then it'll magically happen. Checks will start showing up in the mail. <laughs> that is not true. Action engages attention. We have to actually take action toward the life of our dreams, toward that ideal life, toward that ideal physical experience, toward that ideal emotional experience, toward that ideal environmental experience. We are responsible for our own happiness, for our own ideal life. And so what action could you take today to move you closer to that beautiful ideal life and more authentic version of yourself a year from now. I'd love to read about it in the comments below if you would write it down, share it with our community that is growing. Thank you for being here. I'm so grateful for all my new viewers. I'm thankful to the interviews that I've done to bring you here. Doesn't it feel good to imagine what your life could be like when it is what you want it to be and not what you don't, right? Put your attention on what you want, not on what you don't. Because <laughs> what you put your attention on grows stronger in your life. And I invite you to practice this creation of a clearer picture of the life that you desire to be living. Play with it. Let yourself step into this ideal life. Really imagine it. Engage the senses. And get clear so that you can create what you want in your life. You deserve it. We all deserve to live a life we love. If you need help creating it, if you need help with this clarity piece, this is my specialty. Reach out to Tamara at alifeyoulovenow.com and I'd be so happy to help guide you through the process of getting so very clear on what you want your life to look like and feel like right now and then help you create that in your experience real time. It's pretty amazing to design life on paper and then look back a year later and see that you're living it. I know it because I've done it and I get this great honor of witnessing it in my clients every single day. I'm Tamara Zoner. We'll talk again soon. Create yourself an amazing day. Bye.